going to be time V and fantastic tutor. And in today's class, we'll be taking today's class will be um, a continuation of course BFN 104. And we will be taking the topic commercial bank and merchant bank. BFN 104. Okay, so that being said, I'm just going to switch this off and we we'll go straight into it. Okay. So, um, in our last class, we talked about Central Bank of Nigeria. We made to understand that it is the central bank that acts not just as a supervisor or regulatory body to other banks in Nigeria, but also gives advisory also advise the government on financial issues so today we're going to be talking about merchant bank and um, commercial bank so what is or what are commercial banks so we have commercial bank okay so um just like how we know just like um how we do it in the class it's um the teaching method is more lecturing so it is expected of you to get your writing materials and take down points which after our class you can develop it and submit your note in the classroom you can do that if you're in the private group you send it to the whatsapp for private group and if you're on the general group you do that in general group so we have that as that. Now, commercial banks are privately owned financial institutions. Okay. We have privately owned institutions. Commercial banks are privately owned financial. Pardon? privately owned financial institution financial institution commercial banks privately owned. yeah i think i was net sort of thing there okay so um they provide financial service such as they accept deposits financial service Financial service as accepting deposits. They accept deposits, they give advanced loans, credit creation, and agency functions. Advanced loans, advanced loans, credit creation and advanced loan credit creation and agency functions agency functions so they are privately owned financial institution so they give financial services such as accepting deposits advanced loans credit creation and function agency function now now we have that as that so very quickly we are going to run through the functions of commercial bank now the functions of commercial banks are subdivided into two we have functions we have one we have two now the very first function are the primary function the primary And we have the secondary primary function and the secondary function now speaking of which the primary function of commercial bank are accepting of deposits the open savings account 
for their customers. They give. They open current accounts as well, accept fixed deposits, and um, the grant loans and advances. Okay, I think I should take that slowly. Okay, just a moment. I think I need to fix something there. All right. Okay, so we have we accept accept deposits. They accept deposits. Now under that, you know when we say accepting of deposits it's a bridge now they bridge the gap between deficit and surplus sector you know in um of mobilizing temporarily ideal funds we we'll talk about upsetting of deposit this is just the mobilization of temporary idle funds from surplus sector of the economy so they do that they as well you know they they give, give savings account savings account Savings accounts, savings accounts. They as well give current accounts, and let's not forget, current accounts are owned by companies and businessmen, while savings accounts are owned by individuals. Let's not forget that. So, um, they give savings account. They open current accounts. They also give fixed deposit accounts, which is time deposit. Current. Account to give fixed deposit, fixed deposit accounts. So we have um, we have that that they as well grant loan and advances. Now all these are the primary functions of commercial banks. All these are the primary functions of commercial banks, and then we have that as that. So um, we have, now just before we go into the secondary functions, we're just going to quickly talk about the distinction between loan and advances. The distinction between loan and advances. Just before we go into the secondary uh, functions of, we have loan, we have advances, like, Loan and advances. What are the distinctions now? Loan may be granted for now. The time duration for loan is longer. Time duration is longer. This time duration is short. Now, time duration is the distinction. One of the distinction between uh, loan and advances okay now advances is met is to meet the day-to-day -day requirement of business current current um, expenses expenses now Loan is a uh, more of, um, long term expenses. Could be monthly. Could be. So now interest is charged on. Okay. There now for loan there is usually interest. Interest. But advances. No interest. So we have um, that as that. Now, speaking of the secondary functions, now, secondary functions of commercial bank, they provide customers, they provide customers with facilities for foreign exchange dealings. Foreign exchange. Foreign exchange. Foreign exchange. Now, they also issue letter of credits, travelers, and check. 
in all the issue letter of credit the issue check letter of credit so those are the secondary they're not the main reason why they are established but they also do functions like this now they undertake safe custody of valuables important document securities by providing safe deposit for value for deposits vaults or lockers now they do money transfers and so on and so forth so we have that as that so that's all we have on the commercial bank so let's move straight ahead to merchant bank okay i'm just going to erase this Okay, so we have Merchant Bank. Now, what are Merchant Banks? Just as we've been um, able to establish what the commercial bank is all about, also we're going to be talking about what Merchant Banks are. Okay, um, Merchant banks are usually defined in terms of their function. They are wholesale banks established to provide medium and large scale and specialized banking service to their clients at a profit. From the name merchants. From the name merchants. So the key points here are one wholesale banks we have wholesale wholesale banks that's the first key point they give medium and large medium large medium and large scale and specialized banking service medium and large scale and specialized and specialized banking service banking service so on that point the first point is that they are wholesale bank and they deal in giving or providing medium and large scale and specialized banking service to who to their clients at a profit to clients all right i think we we are live again uh, there's a network issue. Merchant banks caters primarily for the need of large scale enterprises and high net worth individuals. Let's take note of that. They cater. large scale and okay uh, network is kind of but a hey, I think um, we are live again now the cater primarily for the needs of large K 
cater primarily for the need for the needs of large scale for the need of for the needs of large scale enterprises and I what individuals large scale enterprises enterprises and and I net worth I net I networks individuals. So we have that as that, right? Also, they engage in what we call underwriting, international trade financing, higher purchase acceptance of deals of exchange and provisions of business loan i'm going to take that again they engage in underwriting international trade financing higher purchase acceptance of bills of exchange and provision of business loans so we have data start Okay. Now let's take this down. The Nigerian Banking Amendment Decree in, in the year 1979 Banking Amendment Banking Amendment decree in 1979 is that Machat Bank means any person as a person now, Machat Bank means any person who engages in wholesale banking, any person. Any person who engaged in wholesale banking. Wholesale banking, medium and long term financing, equipment leasing, debt factoring, investment management, issue and acceptance of bills, and the management of unit. According to According to the Nigerian Banking Amendment Decree in 1979, Merchant Bank is referred to as any person who engaged in the following. Engage in the following. So I have wholesale banking. I have wholesale banking. I have medium and long term financing equipment. 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 Equipment leasing, beg your pardon. Equipment, equipment leasing, and debt factoring, and debt factoring, invest management, investment management, issue and acceptance 
of bills and management of unit trust is referred to as merchant bank. So we have um, that as that. Now let's talk about the development of merchant bank in Nigeria. Death of merchant bank in Nigeria. So we have the concept is dated back to 18th century. Concept is dated back, dated back to 18th century. Concept is dated back to 18th century now and you see merchant bank varies in varies from country to country unlike commercial bank by commercial bank can be run in nigeria the same way it's been run in senegal in cameroon in togo in ghana when we talk about merchant bank it's it is totally different merchant banks Let's not forget who engaged in the following. So there is discretion of ownership. There is discretion of ownership. So now it varies from country to country. You know, um, now varies from country countries start the registration in nigeria now i start the registration with nigerian acceptance limited with reg with reg with registration under n a L, which means Nigeria Acceptance Limited. Nigeria Acceptance Limited. Yes. Nigerian Acceptance Limited as a subsidiary of John Alt Group on the 25th of November. As a subsidiary as a sub subsidiary of John. Okay, let's pay attention to this name. John Art Group. In for okay on twenty fifth of November. Beg your pardon. On twenty fifth. 25th of November on 25th of November now we have that as that now okay now it really start with two names now under the Nigerian Accepted Limited Merchant Bank in Nigeria they start with about two names now the first is it registered as a subsidiary of John Alt Group on the 20th and 20th of on 20th of November and Philip Hill and Philips Philips Hill. Okay, let's just Philip, that's fine. Philip Eel Limited Eel on fourteen September nineteen sixty. September 
1960. So um, we have that as that. Okay. Now, in 1969, John Oth, John Oth Group and Philip Hill Limited both marched to form Nigerian Acceptance Limited, now called NAL Merchant Bank. They marched in 1969 marched in 1969 form equals n a now subsidiary of john and il philip il limited march in 1969 to form NAL, which is Nigerian Acceptance Limited. Now, in 1973, when Union Dominion Trust Bank was licensed to carry out, okay, now let's take note of 1973, 1973, Union, Union Dominion Trust Bank was commissioned. Union Dominion Trust Bank. Union Dominion Trust Bank Limited, that's a UDT. UDT was um, okay. Your commission. That the U it was commissioned. So we have so just a quick a quick uh, recap. So we have merchant banks referred to as wholesale banks with medium and large scale and specialized banking services to their clients at a profit. Now they cater primarily for the needs of large scale enterprises and high net worth individuals. And we have NBAD in 1979, they refer to as merchant bank as any person who engaged in the following, we have the wholesale banking, the medium and long term financial equipment leasing, and etc. So we have development of merchant bank in Nigeria. Now it's dated back to 18th century, and believe me, you merchant bank varies from countries to countries. Now, with registration on that NAL, Nigerian Acceptance Limited, as a subsidiary of John Off Group in 20th, 25th of, no, of November, and Philip Hill Limited on 14th of September 1916. Both these subsidiaries, both these um, limited companies, marched in 1969 and took over NAL. Now, in 1973, Union Dominion Trust Bank Limited (UDT) was incorporated. Okay, so we have that. That's that. Right. Let's proceed. Okay, in 1973, 1973, Dominion Trust Bank was licensed. Dominion Trust Bank as Dominion Trust Bank. Dominion Trust Bank was licensed. 
Now, please note, in 1974, now, 1974, just a year after, Dominion Trust Bank changed to Union Dominion Trust Bank. Changed to Union Dominion Trust Bank. Okay, let's take note of the dates and um, everything. Okay. Trust Bank Limited. Okay, so we have that as that. And today it goes by the name Nigerian Merchant Bank. And today... It goes by the name Nigerian Merchant Nigerian Merchant Bank N M B. So we have other licensed bank that that cropped up came up after N M B were First National Bank of Chicago. In Nigeria, First National Bank of Chicago Limited, First National City Bank, New York, in Nigeria Limited, and Chase Merchant Bank, Chase Merchant Bank Limited. So we have that as a now in 1975, the first National City Bank of New York Limited closed up. Let's not forget that we have the Nigerian Merchant Bank. About three banks came up thereafter. Three Merchant Banks came up thereafter. And these three Merchant Banks are we have First National Bank of Chicago. First National Bank of Chicago. First National Bank of Chicago Limited. We have First National City Bank, New York. First National City Bank, New York. Okay, we have Chase Merchant Bank Limited. We have Chase Merchant Bank Limited. Now, these are the three banks, merchant banks that came up after NB, NMB. Now, in 1975, the first national, first national city bank, first national city bank, New York. My goodness. Okay. There we go again. Sorry about this. Okay, I think it's um, a bit better now. Okay, um, so we have in 1975, in 1975, the first National City Bank of New York Limited closed up and gave up its license. Closed up in 1975. First National C First National City Bank New York closed closed up and gave up its, its license. Okay, we have that as that. Now let's take Let's quickly take note of the following abbreviations. 
take note of the following abbreviations. We have I C O N I C O N Investment Company of Nigeria. We have N A M B L. N A M B L. N A M B L. We have N A M B L, which is Nigeria, America, Merchant Bank, Nigerian America Merchant Bank, N A M B L. So we have B O I, we have B O I, we have Bank of Industry. We have Bank of Industry and we have B O A B O A as a um, Bank of Agriculture. Bank of Agriculture and we have um, S A P. S A P we have S A P structural adjustment adjustment structural adjustment we have program. So we have the CDC, we have the CDC, which is CDC, Community Development Council, Community Development Council, and we have um, that is that, All right. Now, I have, I have to erase this so we can have space. Okay. Um, now, in 1989, there were about 34 merchant banks operating in Nigeria. In 1989, 1989, 34 merchant banks operating in Nigeria. It's 1989, and we have in 1991. The number rose. It rose up to 54 with over 100 branches. In 1991, 1991 rose to 54 with 100 branches. Merchant Bank rose to 54 from the retrospective 34 of 1989 and it rose to 54 with over 100 branches and um, in December 1995 the number fell 1995 December 1995 Fell. It fell to 51 with a total of 149 branches. Branches increased, but the number fell. 
Branches. 1950, in 1995, fell, and in 19, okay, I think that is that for that. Now, something happened in 1991. 1991, please let's take note of all the states. Government removed what was called ceiling. Removed ceiling. In economics, it's called price ceiling. We have price ceiling, we have price flow. You know, price ceiling is um embargo government places on the price of a good. Like the ceiling now, when government prays price ceiling on the good, meaning that this particular good should be should not be sold above this particular amount. Why the floor should if the, the price um price floor is that this particular goal should not be sold below its amount. So here, in a merchant bank, they have been told that in 1991, government removed ceiling in place. It has, okay, government removed the ceiling it has placed on leasing. Removed ceiling, it placed on leasing. Okay, we have um, that as that. Now, in 1999 as well, Merchant Bank uh, were given the opportunity to convert, to convert into commercial banks if they wish or if they desire to. Nineteen ninety nine, Martin Bank to convert into commercial banks, convert into commercial banks if they so wish to. Now we have functions, we're just going to run quickly through um, the function, I mean, the class is almost over. It's over, it's almost an hour already. So we're just gonna quickly run through the functions of Merchant Bank. We have the functions. Functions. So we have the rate, um, the rate finance for their clients, the, um, Cooperate restructuring. They give discounts on bill of exchange. They accept deposits. They provide long-term loans, and they also provide loan syndicate syndication. Okay, um, raise finance for their clients. Raise finance for their clients. They give loans, they do loan syndication, they give loan, they do loan syndication, they accept deposits, they provide long time loan, okay, they accept deposits and they give discount on bill of exchange, discount on bill of exchange. So we have um, that as that. Um, now, very quickly, you know, we've spoken about Merchant Bank. We're just going to talk about Mortgage Bank. We're going to talk about Community Bank. We're going to talk about Development Bank, Microfinance Bank, and we call it a day. Okay, People Bank, and okay, and we call it a day there. Okay, now talking about Community Bank. Community banks are banks that are referred to as self-sustaining and independent financial institution. Community banks are banks that are referred to as self-sustaining banks. Community bank.
self-sustaining independent financial institution, self-sustaining independent financial bank, all on the same page. Now, it is owned and operated exclusively in a community or group of community. Exclusively owned and run. Exclusively owned by exclusively owned by community or group of community. A community or groups of community. Community or groups of communities. So we have a group of communities. So we have that as that. Okay, we have um, development banks. Development. Now, development bank. These are banks created to meet the development needs of certain vital sectors of the nation's economy. They are development banks are banks created to meet development needs. To meet development needs of some certain development needs of some certain vital sector. Vital to meet development needs of some certain vital sector of the nation's economy of the nation's economy. Okay, just permit me if you need to be dehydrated. So just gonna take some water. Right, that feels better. Feels good. Now we um. Now this is the bank, the only bank that provide loan with very low interest. Provide loan with very provide loan. With, with very low interest. Okay, we have that as that, and we have um, microfinance bank, which is actually the last thing. Okay, we have people's bank after that. So, um, speaking of which, the microfinance bank. Is as um is as a fallout effect. It's as it serves as a fallout effect to cash on any failure arising from inability of command of commercial bank to meet responsibilities. Okay, Just, I think I need to get that down, bend that down, of course. So we have micro finance bank. Now there's a deadline that is given by the CBN to commercial banks, and this deadline is 31st December of 2005. This deadline was given to commercial banks, but um, an alternative plan, this is how microfinance bank came into existence. So the CBN made an alternative plan for banks that we fail, banks that will not be able to meet up. And this is where commercial 
microfinance bank comes in. Now it is said to be a fallout effect. Fallout effect of fallout effect of or to okay fallout effect cash on any failure cash on any failure fallout effect cash on any failure arising from the inability arising from the in ability of of what of commercial banks that commercial banks to meet the 31st commercial bank to meet the 31st December 31st December 2005 deadline so we have that as that okay and just add this deadline for banking for banking Consolidation, consolidation, graph, consolidation program compliance. All the stories compliance. Okay, compliance. Okay, don't need compliance. Okay, so we have that as that for microfinance bank. And lastly, we have now there are two different categories of microfinance bank. Two different categories. We have the first category is called the Unit Microfinance Bank. Unit Microfinance Bank. And we have Statewide Microfinance Bank. So we have that as that. Okay, let's proceed. The last but not the least, we have People's Bank. People's Bank. People's. We have People's Bank. Now, People's Bank is established with the initial takeoff grant of 30 million and specifically designed to meet credit needs of small borrowers to meet credit needs of small borrowers all right, so we have that as that for today. It's, uh, it's been a wonderful session. And um, I believe we all have been able to get a thing or two from today's session. And um, in our subsequent class, we'll be taking what is money. And from there, we'll be proceeding to the next unit and model. So um, our timetable will be released feeling today you know we're having the last class by two today in as um cit 104 so um thank you very much everyone and i look forward to seeing us in subsequent tutorials bye, -bye.